No, why does it say holy on the Bible? Because, see, any other book, if it was writing about these great people in the past, it tended to gloss over their sins. No, but we discussed this but last time. What the Bible way. says, if you commit adultery, you're going to be stoned to death. No, and that's, that is a, as we said, or that's a civil law for the nation of Israel. But it's still an element of the Bible that is flawed. Well, evidently, for that generation, that's their, that's their commandment. Exactly my point. Exactly like the Constitution. But it's not one of the moral laws. No, but it's still in the Bible, and it's flawed. Both no, I the believe, Bible I do not and believe the Constitution the Bible were well-intentioned, but they are basically inherently flawed. What I believe... Hence the need to amend it. My point to you about gay rights, for yeah. example, yeah. it's time for an amendment to the Bible. No. You what should I... compile a new Bible. <laughs> not a chance. What I, be <laughs> what I believe is flawed is human opinion because it constantly changes. And in fact, you know, we do it every eight years. Mm -hmm. You know, in America, we have a we have a change in opinion. What was pop, what was hot, is now not. And, and, and I willingly admit, willingly admit, that I base my worldview on the Bible, which I believe is true. And I, and and truth, my definition of truth is, if it's new, it's not true. If it was true a thousand years ago, it'll be true a thousand years from today. Opinion changes, but truth doesn't. We're going to agree to disagree on that. <laughs> We're going to come back. We're going to talk about children. You know what I like, though? I like, Piers, we need more of this kind of talk. I agree. I agree. We need. To, because the debate should always be respectful. But it's a know. moment, and by the way, it applies to politics, too. Yeah. The moment it becomes disrespectful yeah. and discourteous yeah. and then rude yeah. and then poisonous, you never achieve.